Hey guys, this is Crypto Marie slash Gossip and Reaction. Marie Stakes, since I have to post it on both channels until Gossip and Reaction uh, picking up from the floor. I have another story. It's a con, a, a con oh, sorry, a continuation. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put that one part two, okay? So, remember I reported a story on the Brooklyn pastor that got robbed at gunpoint while he was giving a live sermon. And, uh, my son, close the door. I'm on, I'm recording. Thank you. All right. Sorry about it. Yeah. Sorry about that. They be so loud. So I have to keep it down. Anyhow. And he, he got robbed at gunpoint. Now they saying, um, allegedly there is, um, a lawsuit against him because they say allegedly he stole $90,000 from a retirement saving from one of his um own parishioners um and listen we knew it you cannot have a um, a church with all the respect i don't know how the church system work in brooklyn where you know most of the people don't have that kind of money they are struggling to make it you know the rent is high the gas is high and um the food is high so for you to preach to the lowest of the lowest with all the respect and you having half of a million dollar worth of jewelry and clothes on like where do you get that money from you know where do you get that money from come on we're not we're not stupid we're not dumb usually they're doing something that don't make no sense that's how they you know they they make their money they still allegedly they still from the poor they still from older people they, they 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 try to make the people believe if you give if you give god gonna bless you more and this is how i would rather stay home pray on my own corner i would rather stay home read the bible talk to my kids about the bible being growing up in a family in haiti i remember my aunt um used to be a a church lady and she would drag us take us to church and so we had a a very nice beginning of believing knowing about the lord and from my experience being in my early 40s i respect the lord so much because there's a lot of stuff that happened in my life if i didn't have the lord with me it would be impossible to make it and I respect everybody's opinion when it comes to religion. I believe everybody's uh, opinion when it comes to your own belief, whether you believe or not. At the same time, um, it gets to a point you got to give it to the people who was there before us. Whatever belief they believe in, I think I had a great one and I'm thankful for my aunt, you know. So again, this Brooklyn pastor is up to no good. There was a lawsuit allegedly going on because he stole some money. May God bless them all, and uh, hopefully they will um, recover from the whole thing. So my next story will be Tori Spelling. You know, Tori Spelling is a daughter of, uh, I don't remember her father's name, but one of the richest guy in Hollywood. And when he died, he didn't leave anything to the children's name, or whatever he left was not enough for her to make it in her own. And she had stopped doing movies and stuff, so her life has not been really easy. I remember the... Um, uh, there's a credit card that has no limit in there that sued her because she maxed it out and living a large life. Her mom and her are not really good friends, and her mom could have helped her get out of her financial struggle. I don't know why they never really get along. And um, I hope the mother leaves some money to their name because she has a lot of kids with this crazy fool that she took from a married woman from France, Paris, I think. I'm not sure. You could do your research on that. And I heard she had a file for divorce. She's rethinking that because uh, what's the guy name? Tell me spelling. We're considering divorce from Dean. Dean McDermott. So um, whatever they choose to do in life, when you have kids... When you have kids with somebody, when you've been with somebody for that long, it had to be some kind of mutual respect and love there to make it last that long. So whatever you guys can do to make it work, I appreciate whatever decision the woman and the men make because at the end of the day, it's about the children. And if you can make it work amongst you, why not? Why not give it a try? You could tell there were love there. And with the love still there, take care of the children, love each other, and keep it moving, right? So another one is about Rihanna. Um, 
a new album has taken a back seat so she can focus on another baby on the new baby duh any new moms will put all the love they have into the baby into the new things they have in their life and we all not cannot be counted out of that because you could tell she loves her baby admire her baby and she wants to have more baby with asap rocky and listen this is amazing this is amazing sometime in life we have to give a break to our daily routine life and to get used to the newest thing amazing beautiful thing that's in our life which is a child so i applaud her i don't have my hat on right now but i would um i would put my hat on and say hey go for it why not why not go for it man so congratulations to the new parents asap rocky and uh we are not and i want to throw another story i heard um uh, in the 2000 i think um you know Tony Parker, the French basketball player, he was really good. It's a six point two um he's six point two tall feet high. I mean tall, forgive me. Uh, <laughs> he's six foot two tall. Now I got it. And they say he got a black eye trying to stop Chris Brown and Drake from fighting for Rihanna. And I was I was laughing because I said at the end of the day they were fighting for Rihanna, but who walk out with the prize is ASAP Rocky. Isn't it amazing? ASAP, you are a good looking kid. I hope you do well by Rihanna. I hope you don't make her doubt in her choice. And um and they say the baby has Rihanna's eyes. Oh God, we have not seen the baby yet. But I know he's a handsome young man, and God bless you all. And populate. You don't have to be like, um, what's his name? Elon Mars. Populate, populate all over. Just have one partner. Be satisfied. Be happy. And create more beautiful children and healthy. May God bless you all. Again, don't let nobody pressure you, Rihanna. I know Beyonce just put a, a video out. Beyonce already have her three beautiful kids with her husband, Jay-Z. And um, I think um, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj is going to bring something out too. Everybody's doing something. And I don't want you to be pressured. You have your businesses. You have your beautiful perfume. The, um, I, I like the one that's um, black and gold is um fleur noir something i don't remember i haven't purchased it in a long time you're doing your thing with your cosmetic you're doing your thing with your perfume line with your clothing line with your lingerie line don't let nobody pressure and you enjoy your bundle of joy love your baby because they growing up so fast girl before you know it he's already 10 going to school before you know he's singing with mama with daddy enjoy the moment while they small while they pooping while they peeing while they screaming while they vomiting whatever it is enjoy you looking great i saw you in some pictures they capture you and asap rocky in new york on a date night this is how you keep it hot this is how you keep it fresh baby go for it you are amazing young lady god bless you and keep it moving okay and my next story would be um Yeah, um, Skip Bailey, the commentator for Sport, keep on comparing LeBron James with Tom Brady. I think it's an unfair game because they both playing two different games. Um, they both good at what they do in a different level. Again, stop with the madness. Let the people be themselves in each lane. I stay in my lane. I love languages. I love to learn different languages. I love what I do as a medical assistant. I use it every second that I can to help people out. I stay in my lane. Um, of course, I'm not trying to compare myself with those big guys, but LeBron James is good at basketball. Leave it in his lane, basketball. Tom Brady is the best at what he does, um, catching the ball, whether it's with air, when I air, I'm throwing shade. Yeah, I used to be a fan. <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys. Listen, some of the stories is going to be laughable. Some of them going to be something we can learn from. Some of them going to be something to remember. Whether the ball has deflated or inflated with air, he's good at catching his ball. 
leave him in his lane football and lebron james is good at making his free throw making his threes you name it he passed the ball he wasn't selfish like kobe bryant leave him in his lane of basketball why skip have to compare these two guys they are the best of the best in what they do stop the madness all right so my other story i'm gonna try to keep it short each time i get into it it just keep on going lamar adam says that chloe kardashian should have called him or hella him for babies number two lamar <clears throat> with all the respect i have a lot of respect and love for you i know you have two beautiful kids with this uh lady you were with and i know one of them had died from seed syndrome and uh, it's a lot to take for one person i know you've been through a lot and at the same time you need to remember chris jenner raised her daughters to be with people that is financially able to take care of them that is financially making the money right now in the present not in the past so chloe kardashian would have never called you to have a baby with you i don't know why for some reason in the beginning i think she was uh having a hard time conceiving because she never got pregnant when she was with you i don't know if there was any miscarriage or anything but don't when you see yourself see yourself as somebody who's trying to make it to the next level now because you you've had your moment with the kardashian i know they are very controversy they're always on the news they're always everywhere telling people what they're doing you had your time you had your moment you blew it you cheated on her you treated her like crap she moved on from you what you don't understand what you do not understand chloe kardashian is obsessed with tristan thompson Chloe Kardashian is in love with Tristan Thompson. If Chloe Kardashian could have uh, made her way, she would do anything she can to make sure Tristan in her bed. But Tristan again is in America is in America and nowadays we are able to do whatever hell we want to do. We choose to do what we want to do. So, I'm sorry, it is what it is. He's going to be a player. He's going to live his life with whoever he wants to. And um, Chloe cannot get he, her way with Tristan. She go have the second baby because she wanted to. And now she want America to feel bad for her. Uh, Lamar Odom, I have a lot of respect for you. Um, but at the same time, you need to know when your time is over. Your time is over. These women are looking for men who is making the billions now. Look, now, yesterday, this fool Kim Kardashian... Uh, tweeted a picture where her little daughter is uh, designing clothes in her father's um, studio. Oh, is she back? Is she around again? Why? Because her fame is declining. She thought her makeup line, her whatever hell she's doing, with all the respect, will take off because, okay, I use Kanye to get to Valenciaga, to get to all the big brain. And now I'm going to be the woman I've always meant to be, wanting to be. And she realized, okay, America is not fooling for the crap that her and Pete are so in love. Pete don't care. Pete has a reputation of breaking good-looking women's heart. He's not an attractive man, to tell you the truth. To me, he's a kid. He will always be a kid. And they keep on showing a picture of him with a, a missing chopped teeth. If it's true, I would ask him to fix it. It make him really look cuckoo. It make him look really crazy. I'm not trying to bring the young man down, but um, he's in a level of women that always have money and beauty and fame, and he dumped them and go to the next one. Okay, go to the next one. So now she realized, oh my God, I made a bad move. I am divorcing my husband. I no longer with him, and he's the one creating cars. He's the one um uh, um doing nfts he's the one making the money the billions so i need to go back with my husband and of course it's gonna be hard for kanye to say no i hope he don't fall for the trip for for, for the trick but it's gonna be hard because they have four kids together whether they loved each other or not kanye gonna fall for the mess at the end of the day she's still a beautiful woman and they have a lot to share together which is the children and i will not be surprised if they go back together I will not be surprised if Kanye West and Kim Kardashian back together because Kim Kardashian is, uh, you know what, fame, always looking for fame. And if she see her fame is declining by being with Pete Davidson, let me tell you something. 
she's gonna dump Pete Davidson and then go back with Kanye. And Kanye again is a weak headed when it comes to the Kardashians. He might run himself back into them again because they saying he's not really spending much time with Cheney Jones. Uh, maybe he was doing it to, you know, to to make Cam jealous. And Cam was doing whatever she's doing to make Kanye jealous. And she wanted Kanye and Pete to have a talk before she has a baby with Pete. Pete wanted a baby really bad, but at the same time, Cam, you are a grown woman. You no longer with Kanye. You don't need his approval to have a baby by him. And again, we know the Kardashians don't like to have baby for different fathers. So she's going to do whatever she wants to stay away from having a baby with Pete because they already have the um, embryos mixed waiting somewhere. So if she's back with Kanye, I'm not surprised they're going to have more babies because the mother herself said one time, Chris Jenner said she wish she had more babies because their family are so famous. It would have been all famous, more money, more money. You know, she get 10% of whatever going on there. Her money would have been more. Again, I'm done with this family. I know we have to talk about them because they always give you something to talk about. But it gets to a point I get tired of it. Please, they need to do me a favor. I need to holler at them. They need to do something for somebody. Pay a, 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 a student fund. Help a family get a house. Help a family uh, start a business. Do something. You have so much money, you don't know what to do with it. Help a family in America, because America gets you to where you are. Don't be selfish. Don't be ridiculous. We don't care about your fame. We don't care about how much money you have. Have family get out of poverty. Then I would know and give you some respect. The Kardashians family will earn my respect when I see they're doing something for somebody else. I know Kim tried to get some lady out of jail that was sentenced wrongfully. That's not enough. Help a family start a business. Help a family buy a house. Help a family pay a four-year degree college fund for a child. Then I, you will start earning my respect. Crypto Marie slash gossip and reaction Marie's take. You want to earn my respect, Kardashian? Do something for somebody else. Because I would do it if I had your money. All right? Thank you. Let me go to the next story. <clears throat> Forgive me. Uh, um, I'm almost done. I'm always I'm about to pass my time. Oh, let me hurry up. Okay, um, this is about the Federal Reserve. Uh, it says the Federal Reserve just um, just damn. I don't know what I wrote there, guys. Uh, make it harder for credit card, mortgage, loan to become more expensive. So. Again, guys, if you don't need the loan, don't take it now. Not financial advice because the interest rate is so high right now. I, <clears throat> I'm a person when I need to get to a certain place and do a certain things in life, I don't mind taking a loan. But now I don't think it's a good time to take a loan because they're gonna double, triple the interest rate. You need to stay away from them. All right. And what's my next one? What Montel Holt said about dating. Shell Whitfield, they say it's a lie. Uh, he's in her backyard because he's been in a pool for her. I guess they both, uh, they love fame. They're using each other to get out there and making people talking. And America fell for the trick because they were taking pictures, holding uh, Shell Whitfield uh, waist. And, you know, she's a beautiful woman regardless of her age. And uh, they were just using each other to have people talking. And we fell for it again. Uh, this is crypto Marie. She does it all slash uh, gossip and reactions. Marie's take. Whenever you're done with the um, with the um, video from um, crypto Marie, she does it all. You have a second in your hand. You go check out uh, gossip and reaction. Marie's take because I'm trying to take it off the floor. So I'm gonna be posting my stories on both until it gets out of the of the ground. Then I focus crypto only on crypto. And then the stories that come from Hollywood will be on gossip and reaction movies take. I'm going to check the market again to see if there is any changes in the coins. I'm going to give you an update. And if not, later on, around in the evening, I'm going to give you the latest. So again, I want to say thank you to all of you guys for the love and respect, for subscribing, liking, sharing the information, for all the great comments. May God bless you all. 
I'm still under the weather, but again, you know, I'm gonna bring it to you no matter what, no matter where I am, if I'm at the park working out, if I'm at home, if I'm at work on my break, something happened, guys, I'm going to bring the news to you and I appreciate the fact you appreciate that. Thank you so much and have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Bye, y'all. Uh...